Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today Apple has introduced their first beta of iOS 16. Of course, coming with a lot of new features and changes that make this update really, really exciting. Now, before we get into iOS 16 and we do a very first review, now before we get into iOS 16 and we do a review of all the cool new features of this software, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel and you're watching the video, please make sure to do so because most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed so that would really help out a lot. And let's get things started with a brand new feature, the lock screen. Now the lock screen on iOS 16 is totally new. You can see how different this actually looks. So you will have here everything new. We have the new lock screen widgets. We have a new design for the clock and that right here where it used to be the date, that now actually is a widget on its own. So you can choose what you wanna see there. You don't have to have the date all the time. Even though the buttons here at the bottom still remain the old ones, but this part right here is really cool. And of course we get the new media controls right here, which look way, way better. Now the notifications here appear from the bottom here. So what you will need to do is swipe like this. And always when you get new notifications, they will appear from down here. Now on the lock screen, we'll also get another thing right here, which is which is called like live activities, like maybe keeping track of a score. So let's say you have the NBA app, there's a game going on, you don't have to see like notifications all the time, it will just keep like a card like this, of course, keeping you updated and it won't just give you notifications all the time. Now the lock screen of course is fully customizable. You free to touch on it, you can add like new lock screens here and you can just change between them just like that. So you tap on one of them, you go to the other one, you can just quickly switch between different lock screens. Now of course to customize one of those, you can tap right here on customize. And you can choose to customize right there the widget at the top, you can see right there I can have anything I want at that information and of course I can change the font here and I can change the widgets that I have here I can add ones or I can remove ones and these are the current ones that are available with iOS 16 as of now so when we go back right here we will also have focus so if you just want to tap there you can choose with which focus mode you want to use any of these lock screens so that's really really cool Moving on to the home screen here, we have a new button, which is called search right here. Now there used to be home screen pages dots right here when you switch between pages, you will still actually see those dots but once you stop, it turns into search. So you tap right there. It will, of course, show you here the spotlight search. So let me just remove that. So there's the spotlight search, which of course you can quickly invoke from here. And you can also do different actions from here. So if you do something, it then will show it as a suggestion. So if I want to create a timer, I can do it directly from here. There are cool new features on iMessage as well. Now on iMessage, you can send a message and then you can actually even edit that message. So I can go ahead and edit that message from here. So if I just made a mistake on the message, I can go ahead and edit that. Or what I can do is also unsend it completely. So just like that, tap on undo send. And just like that, you can see it disappears. So it will unsend that message. And you can also mark a conversation as unread or basically a message so just swipe like that and now you have set that as unread which is really really awesome of course a lot of people will love these new features with iMessage and really big with iOS 16 is also the new dictation features so now when you tap to dictate you don't have to actually have it all right here on the keyboard. You can still use the keyboard if you want to type something and of course then continue dictating at the same time. So this is really, really cool. A very exciting feature. Of course, a lot of people will take advantage for it. It will make it really easy for you to type. You can even go ahead and select a piece of text right here. So let's say a word or a sentence, I can select it and then tap right here and then I can actually edit that by using dictation. So I, can, I have time here, I have selected, so I can replace that test. So you can see it does replace your text that you have typed by simply dictating to it. On the email app, bunch of new features as well. 
you can now schedule emails tap and hold the send button and you can send now send and you can see tonight tomorrow or send later now from here you can just choose a date when you want to send you can unsend an email with ios 16 that's really really cool as well and also basically one of the biggest features that comes to mail with ios 16 like the ability to be able to unsend an email that's really cool now apple has actually done a lot of enhancements to ios 16 some of those on the photos app so let's jump to the photos and see what's new there now something really cool that apple has added to ios 16's photos app is the ability to tap and hold on a subject on a photo like this you can see and now i can drag this and use this maybe to send it on a message now this is actually really cool so on any photo that has like a subject like that you can just drag the subject and it will automatically do that for you now this is really cool like you can send that subject right here on iMessage you can see how cool that looks now on iMessage you will be able now to also use SharePlay directly from iMessage which is also really really awesome now another thing i want to mention is that now you can also use live text on videos just like you do on photos you can now do that on video so let's say you're watching a video all you have to do is just pause it and you will be able to actually copy the text that is being displayed on that video which is really really cool now with iOS 16, Apple has changed the way you change wallpapers on your device. Like when you go to your settings, this is what you will see. You don't have the usual UI that we get on previous iOS versions. You tap to add a new wallpaper and from here, you can actually choose what you want to add. So you will have here different wallpapers from Apple. So you will have like different collections that you can use or what you can do is of course go to your photos you can use photo shuffle or you can use maybe an emoji so you can see you have all kinds of different emojis that you can add here combine those and create a new wallpaper for your lock screen you can even use the weather from here so you can use the current weather as your lock screen wallpaper which is really cool or just use colors or astronomy right here you can see how good that looks so these these are the actually new options and the new wallpapers that you can use for the lock screen of your device on ios 16 with a brand new way of implementing wallpapers to the lock screen of your device so these are some of the new features and changes that Apple has added to iOS 16. If you want to see more of these features, make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like on this video. And I will see you guys pretty soon on the next video.